Hey, it's Scott's Test Dummies. We're wearing the same shirt. What kind of bottle are we testing today, Bruno? Defiant American Single Malt Whiskey. I'm talking fast, you're talking slow, because we're going to test it! Let's test it. Here we go. First things first, Scotch God shout out. You comment, you might make it on the show. What do we got? Who do we got? We got we got a lot of comments coming in. We thought, hey, let's uh, highlight some of these. I got a message even so, rolling in. Good. Uh, Jeremy Matthew had commented on our uh, rye whiskey shootout bracket 404. Brilliant. We barely survived. That was we fought the rye and the rye won <laughs> tour. Well, that was yeah on the fourth one. Right. Yeah. We we're last legs. Jeremy Matthew says. Sup, dummies. Hey, sup. Yep, younger viewer here. He's hey. 22. Woo! Just that's, barely that's legal. legal. It is. You're in. I currently have a whiskey collection bar in the making. Wow. Just bought my 30th bottle a few days ago. Wow. That's 20, pretty good for 22. Well, at 22 years, I, I was mean, not drinking I was, whiskey. I was, I was drinking Jack and Coke at I was collecting like beer tops. Yep. <laughs> he would love to see our guys' full whiskey collection. Ooh. I'm a bourbon guy myself, looking forward to a bourbon shootout, hopefully, Ooh, which is in discussions. Call. Yeah, we were talking about that. But our our collection is really a split in half because yes. half of the stuff is at my house, half of it's here. That's right. So it would be, I mean, unless I brought everything over or we shoot it separate. I don't I don't really have a bar. I so. keep telling him to keep it here. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't he, touch he it. He does keep telling I wouldn't that. touch it. I right. would never even try it. <laughs> So anyway, though, hopefully someday, uh, I'm hoping in two to three years, I'm going to build a bar at my house. Right, because our live shows are be, from Scout's office. It's going to be better than his. Do it. Bigger. Better. It's all about bigger and better, apparently. <laughs> no, but we really should. We do live shows from your house. Yeah. And we do our pre-recorded ones here, but we're doing the office. Office is great, mm -hmm. but I do think you're due for a bar. Mm -hmm. You got a little bar. Definitely. But it's yeah, more like a storage area for your whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. It's right at the bottom of the stairs. So, but yeah, I mean, someday we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, what hopefully it does. Hopefully you do. So, today, though, we're wearing Star Wars shirts. Should we get into that at the end? Should we explain? Well, we've had people think that I, sometimes I wear your shirt <laughs> or you're wearing mine, and no, we both have the same shirt. Although so I'd love to switch at some point it. in time. Not on camera. I think my <laughs> yeah. Star Wars logo is bigger than yours. Speaking of bigger and better. Well, it probably is. That's like a 3X. Yeah. I think that's like, that's children's, like children's size. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go define If we have time, we're going to talk about a little Star Wars thing in the background that we have. That I will tell you, little teaser, was a gift. It was a wedding gift. That's all I'm saying right now because we're going to come back to it later. This was sent to us by Alex. Alex. And Alex, if you want us to say your whole name, I should have asked you before we shot. Um, we'll put it in the comments. Let us know. Um, otherwise, just Alex sent this bottle to us. This is from a newer distillery in North Carolina. Hmm. It is a American single malt whiskey distilled from 100% malted barley and pure mountain spring water. 40 bottled at 41 percent so this one now, what, almost categorizes the uh as a single malt then yeah american single is malt. that what it said on there yeah is that what you just said uh -huh. i thought i heard it and i thought no <laughs> surely that's not what i heard oh, now american single malt you're i know right. you've talked about it now and also let's i'm i was going to wait till your review and we went oh, through it the, the deal with defiant he started some uh, and i can't think of what his name is i should have had it um Tim Ferriss. Tim. Tim Ferriss. Right on the side. It's a famous dude. He had an idea to help age whiskey faster. Now, I know you've tasted this and taken notes on it, so how old do you think this is? Well, isn't is? this the guy that's been on Mark Gillespie's show where he's wood, he's pressing the alcohol through wood? He's using, I don't know the process, but he's using spiral cuts of wood added to the whiskey to help age it quicker. No, that's not the guy that's been on Gillespie that I'm thinking of. Yeah, I mean, maybe he is. I don't know. There's so, a guy that's like... He's molecularly broken down what is in an aged, like a 21-year-old Scotch whiskey, and he's making it in two months. Well, I don't know. That's not the same guy, I don't think. It might be. But how, so how old do you think? So he, he wanted to speed the process up of 
And, and that's one of the main deals with whiskey companies that are starting up is how do okay. I start getting whiskey out? Sure. Had you not told liquor. me any of that because I didn't, you you gave me this bottle to try. Mm -hmm. You said don't read up on it. Don't research don't it. Don't study you it at all. Just try Kind of get your honest reaction to some of this. And I talk. tried it just the other night. I actually do remember it said American Single Malt. That was intriguing to me. And I got a mesquite wood f nosing on it. And I would have guessed this was two years old. Okay. It smelled young. But now that you're saying all that, now I'm thinking two years sounds way over the mark. I'm thinking you're going to tell me this is like a, a, a nine-monther or something. 60 days. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Nope. 60 days. He's aged this in 60 days with those spiral cuts of the of the wood. So he's taken, and where some distilleries have to source their whiskey, hmm. or you have to age whiskey for X amount of time before you can start selling it. Mm -hmm. He's accelerating the aging process, basically. Okay. I'm going to give him kudos. Oh, I love experimentation. Yeah, and it's not it's not bad. Okay, it's not the best whiskey. I'm, I'll just preface: it's not the best whiskey I've ever had. Right. But it's neat, and it's a neat story, and we'll talk about the price point and stuff on it coming up. Well, it's amazing that you say it though, because it does have this beautiful sweetness in the finish. Up front, it reminds me of aspen wood. I grew up in the mountains of Colorado. We had little aspens around, and when you go out and cut an aspen down, like uh, it would get damaged in a snowstorm or something, you go cut it. The um, I would agree. There's some sort of like a forestry yes. smell to it. Yeah, the, the front nose and flavor uh, is like a fresh cut piece, of like a, a chainsaw cut of aspen wood. By the way, 203. Now, I got young. I got a young whiskey, of course, on the nose. I do get a little bit of a white dog smell, mm. which is basically an unaged spirit. And I got mm. dusty, dry mm -hmm. crops. I'll give you that. That's good. That's and a heavy good. grassiness. Wow. And some of the, the, the oak notes are coming through as well. See, now that I've tasted it, it's kind of messed with the nose. But I felt like it was some kind of mesquite wood that was used. And when I first noticed it, I thought, well, maybe that was why you didn't want me to see what it was because he used a different kind of wood. I didn't think he did this spiral cut thing. Okay, so his whole idea is to get profitable faster. He can... He can age quickly by doing these different kinds of cuts. Mm -hmm. First of all, I love the idea of uh, an American single malt. We need a category that's called American single malt. Please get that done. He uses toasted American white oak. Okay. And it should deliver delicate notes of honey, vanilla, caramel, and tannins. The finish has those in there. I get a honeycomb, a vanilla, a creaminess. Up front, I get wood. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of wood, and it's like a raw wood. And I think that's its youth. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I am intrigued, and I want to see what happens after this distillery's been around for a while. And I totally get them wanting to be profitable quickly. 100% malted barley and pure mountain spring water. Blue Ridge Distilling Company, Golden Valley, North Carolina. Defiant. I like that they're defiant. Yeah. <laughs> I get to, there's a little bit of a grain alcohol on the taste. Mm. In other words, just that white dog, kind of that unaged spirit. I get a little bit of a black pepper, a vanilla cream. It does come off as being young, which mm -hmm. you probably can't fault it. Um, a little I bit of the, peg 60 days. I know exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> for two months. Yeah, it's I was which thinking, is, you were jokingly you said two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I actually thought two years, probably maybe a little less. Fifteen months is kind of was the youngest I thought it might be. Mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't have thought two months, yeah. sixty days. Oh boy, I just got a good blast of black pepper mm. right there. A um, little bit of the honey finish. 41% right, ABV. It does taste, rightfully so though, at this youth. Tastes a little bit weak, but at this, <laughs> at two months, 
The only way I think this has those delicate notes is to stay pretty much on a lower ABV. Mm. All right. That, I mean, it's it's not complex. That's pretty much it. It's straightforward to me. It's a young whiskey. There's a little bit of a spiciness to it. Some of the traditional bourbon, or not bourbon, but it's a single malt. Some of those traditional oak notes are coming through a little bit of a vanilla caramel. I honey. just want to say, I'm going to have a, uh, under the name Defiant, I'm going to have a transition to a Star Wars action set behind us in a moment. What Let's would you score this? It's an 83 for me. That's what I gave it. Bam. All right, it's an 83. I now, give them props for what they're trying to do. There's a, and I got to looking online just to see what other people were saying. It is young. It's not going to be the best whiskey you've ever had. Mm -hmm. I like it. Let's just move right into, is it worth it? This is the 30 to $35 price range. Good. And this one was sent to us by a viewer, I believe. Yes, Alex. Uh, we're not if sure we didn't say we that, say, yeah, yeah, that's right. We're not sure we can say his last name. Sometimes people don't want to be recognized, so we're just going to say Alex. Mm -hmm. We want us to try it because it was different. Thank you. Any fans, distilleries that want to send us something to try, that also helps the show. And I love different and unique things. Mm -hmm. So, well, and I like what you said and you touched on. It's going to be interesting to see what they can put out in yes. the future. Yeah. I'd like to see. This, like, was, this is a great intro, right. Scott, or Scotch, great intro whiskey from them. And mm -hmm. I think it's a good sign of things that are to come. Now, it is getting some, there's some pretty harsh reviews out there on it. And I can see that. Yeah. Um, it's about expectations. It's about what they're doing, and I and I love the fact that they've done this in sixty days. It, I, I think it's I think it's worth it to try. It. And yes. let's help. Let's well, help it doesn't taste out. like it's sixty days. No, but I got to admit, I've never had anything that's sixty days. No, and I've never tried White Dog. I know uh, you have. Uh -huh. I had a guy that was at a deal that that was. Uh, uh, home distilling and he had white dog and I was like no thanks I just pictured going blind <laughs> other people tried it they were fine yeah. so but I wasn't gonna be his guinea pig so under defiant let me so, I mean, what do you in. what do you think real quick is it worth it 30 35 dollars price range sure uh, that's a good price to keep a distillery up and running I love the fact that there's experimentation I like that it's hundred percent American single malt I want to see that be a category one, one thing I was gonna say when we first when I first cracked it and nosed it, I thought, oh no, this isn't good. <laughs> and I thought I'm gonna have to disappoint Alex here, and this isn't gonna be a good review. Hmm. But it, it, that was like in my notes, I've got you know it's young, dusty, dry crops. Yeah. Uh, heavy grassiness and that white dog was yeah. coming through on the nose. I still got I just a nice thought, finish to it. Yeah. I thought this isn't gonna be good, and the the taste kind of reversed that. Huh. So. Yeah. No, I, I again, I'm a big fan of experimentation, though. I love trying different things. Um, you can, I, I got the youthness of it, but I would have never pegged it without you telling yeah. me it. At, now, if they were putting $50, 60 $70 on oh, it, I'm going to tell God, you, no, it's no, not no, worth no, it. No, no, but at $30 a bottle? Yeah. And it keeps them up and running, hopefully, they come out. So, under Defiant. Yeah. Unfortunately, in my late 20s, I had a wedding that only lasted a short while. If you look at some past episodes, I can't remember the one where you referenced that one ending. Basically, the cliff notes are... I think it was Talisker and Mitzi's Surprise. It could be. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the cliff, just, You want my cliff notes version? Yeah, you give a great cliff notes version of my... Bart, Bart came home from work and his wife said, I got a job in Kansas City. Boom. And Bart said... When are we moving? Well, I didn't really consider moving and quitting my job, but okay, I guess I can. Yeah, when are we moving? When, when are we moving? And she said... We ain't. Bam. And Bart had a puzzled look on his face, and then it sank in. Weeping bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but here's the deal. At that wedding. At the wedding. Or the well, the, well, the, the rehearsal or whatever, shower. or whatever. Yeah, the wedding shower, shower I guess. Yeah. We're or getting little, gifts. Your wedding presents. Okay, yeah. we're we're getting gifts. And of course, I'm unwrapping a lot of stuff from Pier One plates, fork sets, yeah, napkin, napkin holders, holders yeah, tablecloths, yeah, bread maker, you know, whatever. Yeah. All this stuff's going probably in. pillowcases. Yeah, I'm logging towels. stuff. You know, oh duvet, oh duvet, yeah. duvet, 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 right? And there's all that going on. Then I open up this <laughs> Star Wars Action Collection Wedge Antilles Biggs Dark Lighter. Limited release from FAO Schwartz. 
right? Mm -hmm. He orders this in. So this is Wedge on, on uh, over here and Biggs, barely on the show, mm -hmm. okay? All right, and they got the helmets, everything's in the box, and I'm like, wow, and, and when I'm opening it, you're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. bam. And the ladies at this opening of these gifts came to a dead stop. Yeah, there's a lot of like wrinkling of the noses and what is I, that? Yeah, and my wife's like, "What is this?" And I'm like, "That is awesome. This awesome. is what that is." <laughs> and then I think I heard your wife say, "That's not much of a wedding gift." Does she watch the show? Mm -hmm. She said, "It's not much of a wedding gift." I don't want to give her a mean voice because she doesn't have a mean voice. <laughs> and you said. Or you say, or she said that's not for both of them, I think, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. Am I getting you in trouble at all? Huh. Okay, I just want to uh, make sure I didn't get you in trouble. Because 20 years you're ago, still statute, married. statute of limitations. You're still married. Will run but out. she goes, that's not for both of them. And what did you tell her? Oh, so what, neither are the towel or right. the napkin holders yes. and the, the doily. Foo -foo little doilies. Right, the, the, the extra Is smelly candles. <laughs> the, the napkin holders. So in the divorce, I demanded that I get the wedding gift of the Biggs and the Wedge and Tilly's FAO Shorts well, at least Limited she didn't Collection. Want to split it in half That's right. She didn't demand now, that it be opened up and destroyed. A lot of people don't realize <laughs> Biggs Darklighter is, is Luke Skywalker's childhood Buddy. friend from yeah. Tatooine. Almost like his mentor. Now, his he died, he dies in episode four. He gets killed. Wedge and Tilly's was in episodes four, five, and six. Yes, and several books. And part he of actually, Rogue Squadron. Well, he takes damage and has to fly away. Yeah, yeah. And he's a he's a hot ace pilot. <laughs> okay, but what was hilarious about this is I open it up and I'm like, woo! <laughs> and and then you he like throws in limited edition FAO shorts. You can't even get it anymore. And I'm like, yeah. And just looking around, there were women like, what is that? It's a child's toy? No, this ain't no uh, child's toy. It's a collectible. Get back. Get back. Yeah. Don't even touch it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> yeah. And then your wife getting on you. That's not for both of them. You're like, yeah, that's right. For Bart. <laughs> Defiant. Yeah, that's right. That's for Bart. Well, don't you think a wedding gift should be for both? Uh-huh. Yeah, the duvet. Bart's been wanting a duvet for a long time. Yeah. Napkin holders from Pier 1. Mm-hmm. He's, he was telling me at work. Bread, the bread maker. Yeah, yeah bread, maker. The bread maker. Actually, I kind of like the bread maker. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bread maker, I was like, now that's good. I like that one. All right, so we are done. We're out of here. Is there anything you want to add? Yes, uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters again. Uh, the show, you guys are helping us greatly. We appreciate it. That's right. More um, on the Christmas card only for Patreon supporters in a future show. Yep. It's going to be... Well, we've tried fun. some... Uh, we did a live stream just with our Patreon supporters. True. We had a few of them join us. We try, yep. We're going to try to meet up with them more yep. more often. And we are working on art for a special Patreon-only coin. Yes. That Because uh, we've got some folks, several folks, that are over over the course of several months have given more than $100 to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you hit the $100 or the well, century we, mark, you're going to get yeah. a special coin. What we want to do is different coins for different dollar right. marks for yeah, when you, you hit, supported us. Yeah, because I mean, we are blown away by the support. Thank you. We definitely mm -hmm. feel like this is the Whiskey Fabric community. We're coming together. And when some of those super fans come on and just help support the show, uh, we got big plans. We went with live shows in 2016. We we're kind of like the pioneers of that. And in 2018, if possible, if we can raise enough money, we'd like to even go to Scotland. Yes. Did I whisper it? Scotland! Crossing our fingers. Woo! It would be fun. A lot of things got to happen, though. We're not there yet. All right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies.